Hi, it's Mark Bushell from LJ Hooker DY. It's almost the end of the uh, first quarter, the end of March, and this is just a bit of an overview of what's been happening. Uh, the first quarter of 2019 has seen a stabilisation in the market, and prices have fallen from 15 to 20%. For many first home buyers that previously couldn't afford to buy, now they can afford to buy. So that's been really good news for first home buyers. Also, a lot of passive investors have been back looking and we've actually made quite a few sales to people looking for probably showing a good high rental yield. So investors are back and first home buyers have probably never had it better than what they've had it over the last three months. Now for a lot of people, especially the baby boomers who have been you know, looking and waiting to sell, if you buy and sell on the same market, i.e. Um, March 2019, Yes, you will get less than you would have two years ago, but there's a lot more choice in the market. Two years ago, there were very few many homes for people to buy once they've sold. Now, there's a lot more choice. Now, we have got the state election and also a federal election very close together this year, which is highly unusual. Now, if you are thinking of selling in 2019, don't wait till spring. A lot of people wait till spring and you're competing with a lot more other properties for sale. You may well be better off to list your property during the election period and avoid the spring period altogether. Have we hit the bottom yet? The big question everyone's asking. Well, no one ever really knows that question until the market starts going back up again. But auction clearance rates are always a good indicator of what's going on and also the number of properties that are for sale. Well, thank you for watching my video for the uh, first three months of this year. Just remember that uh, LJ Hooker, we do have 12 offices on the Northern Beaches, so we have lots of people here to help you uh, find a property or help you sell a property. And we look forward to uh, seeing you in another three months time.